Hello and welcome to my studio. I'm Noemi from Pigeon Art and today we're going to tackle the daisy dress. For real this time. This is the second video in a series of so far two videos, potentially a third one depending on how things go. And uh, in my last video I made a mock-up uh, because I wasn't sure if it, it would fit me. So I mentioned briefly but I didn't go into very much detail. I was planning to use this fabric uh, for the dress which is a, just a linen uh, that I bought two years ago along with the, the pattern. Unfortunately I made a big mistake which meant that I could no longer use this fabric um, so I'll just show you what happened. Um, so I've done just then a whole lot of swearing. I just realized that the skirt panel I only cut one and I needed two and I don't have enough fabric to cut a second one when if I'd realized that before I wouldn't have cut things the way I cut them. So now I can't do this dress basically. Oh. So my options are to make it into a little top so just shorten it. And I think that's what I'm going to have to do. As I could no longer use the linen fabric, I decided to go with this sheet, which is uh, what I used in the uh, mock-up. And I bought that from an op shop at least a year ago. So it, I knew it would make a very cute garment, whatever that was. Unfortunately, it wasn't the linen dress that I had dreamed about. So if I do end up doing a third video, it'll be salvaging the linen fabric from this and hopefully making a little shirt out of it instead of a dress. <laughs> Hello, so um, what you don't know is it has been months since I started working on this video. Making that mistake put me off, but I am glad we're back and I am ready to get started. You saw my vlog where I took you on errands with me. I bought some um, buttons to go with this dress. <clears throat> And I will um, get started, I think. Uh, I've put it off long enough. I'm keen to, I think I just need to cut it out and that should get me rolling, hopefully. Just reminding myself, these are the three options. And from memory, this C, which is sort of what I wanna do, is um, double layered on the bodice which I'm not keen on. Uh, I live in Western Sydney. As cold as it gets during the winter, it also gets very hot during the summer and muggy. So I think two layers is just gonna be a big no from me. So I will do a tiny little hem folded over twice up on the armholes, which I think is the reason why it's got uh, two layers. So it can be uh, finished off nicely. We shall get started. I keep I keep procrastinating. Okay, so now to stop procrastinating and actually chopping out. There is plenty of fabric uh, if I do make one mistake, but if I made more than one mistake, I don't know that I, I'll be able to save it. Let's go. Oh, hello. You wanna join me? Can you come in here? So I um, cut out all the pieces from the fabric and then I stopped and had some lunch. I'm now going to cut out the interfacing and then I will probably iron all the pieces with the interfacing on and I may stop for the day. It's been a big weekend so um, yeah, feeling rather tired and like I could do with a break. <laughs> Okay, so I've ironed all the pieces and then I've ironed on the interfacing onto the uh, pieces that needed it. I should be fine to continue on a bit longer. It's when I get tired like this that I make mistakes, but I also when I get this done and I actually feel motivated to do it. So that's why I'm a bit unsure whether I should get, do it or not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop for the day.
Um, coming back to look at this now, I remember what I, where I'm up to, which is good. Okay, so now we need to um, do the darts. So I'm going to need my pattern pieces. I realized when I cut out the skirt that I made a mistake. Uh, one of the skirts was supposed to be on the fold and the other one was just supposed to be cut because, idiot me, forgot that there's a cut all the way down with buttons. I got to that point, I'm like, what? This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so I obviously need to get some food. It's midday half past 12 and um, I usually think better on a full stomach than on an empty one. <laughs> I'm going to stop for today. I've had enough. Uh, I've already worked out. I made a couple of mistakes. I'll show you where I'm up to with it now. So I haven't tried it on. Actually, I should probably do that. But I've got the facing and interfacing put on. 
attach the skirt on to the dress. I think I'm ready to put buttons and all that on soon, but I'll also have to do something about this. I'm not loving this facing. It's basically gotten undone just by me sewing it. <laughs> Hello, it's a few days later, a few weeks later. We've been busy. If you haven't seen my last video, I'll put it up here, but um, it's it's been a rather busy time at the moment. Today is Sunday. Yesterday we had friends over. Um, I'm crossing my fingers that today is the last day of this project. It's about 11ish. I slept in. We had friends over yesterday so we were cleaning all day and then went to bed late. Caught up on some laundry folding that I haven't done for a while and then I went and played with Toffee so you know it's been a, a quiet morning. So first things first I was undoing um, some stitching uh, when I was zigzag stitching the uh, on this side it caught a bit of the uh, fabric so I'm just gonna undo that I'm unpicking it now then all I need to do is sew the button and button holes hem the arm holes I'm gonna just do a little rolled hem like that and then I just need to hem the bottom and then we're done I think um, so it's really not much it's been fixed it hasn't caught the thing underneath so we can keep moving on oh, by the way while we wait for that to warm up uh, this is a new mug. I got it, well new, new old mug. I got it from um, an op shop for two dollars. Love the shape, the colour and, and that um, raw edge. Yeah. A centimeter. I'm going to do the rolled hem, and while I'm at it, I'll also do the rolled hem on the um holes. Yeah, that's where um her sleeves come in. Yeah, and that's the end. Oh, hang on. When was I supposed to put the buttonholes? Follow oh, step there. Full dresses, here we go. Nah, sorry, missed this last step. Do the hem, do the armholes, and then we're doing buttonholes. So we're so close, guys. We are finishing this dress today. No question about it. Honestly, I have yet to decide whether I actually like sewing. <laughs> um, that was so painful, but we have our holes done. Um, we have the top so stitching and the hem done. So I'm just trying it on <sighs> to make sure it's still fits. I mean, it's over this and it's fine. So that should be fine. Let's do the buttonholes. <laughs> I think what I like most about sewing is the sense of achievement I get at the end. Not so much the process. With knitting and painting and all that, I like the process. I like the sense of achievement afterwards as well, but the process is much more enjoyable for me. I'm just gonna look at which side I think looks better. The top stitching, probably not this side. I don't like that very much. And that will be the side that has the button holes. Yeah, see that looks better. So that'll be the side with the button holes because that's gonna be overlapping the other side with the button.
Sewing this dress took months and I'm glad I got there. Making that mistake really put me off, but also I got sick and then it was winter and then I, I got toffee, so I had all these other sewing plans I wanted to do. So those are a couple of reasons why it took so long, as well as just my motivation was way down. I wanted to say thank you to Janelle. I contacted her about doing this video before I did it because it is her intellectual property. I wanted to be sure that she was okay with it. She was really lovely and gave me permission and asked me to send her a link to my video once it was done. So a bit nervous about that. And also I am really bad at patterns, following patterns and everything, but I found this one really easy to follow. If you want to see the real tutorial for this, Janelle has a, an amazing one on her channel, which I will link in the description along with the pattern on her website. So go check it out if you uh, would like to make your own. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, feel free to give it a like. It really helps me out. I upload some Sundays with art DIY and sewing videos and soon to be living in a bus on my land in Tasmania videos. And I hope to see you then. Bye.